Hello guys and um, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll continue to look at the June 2017 IT Paper 2. In the last video, we ended with step number 1C. In this video, this video we start with um, um, step number 1D. Okay, the 1D says all staff will have a new payroll number as shown. And this is the payroll number that is um, there. And the payroll number is created um, by getting the first letter of the given name so the first letter of the given name, um, let's put it in yellow and um, let me do this. So the first letter of the given name um, is going to be this one. Okay. Then followed by two letters of the family name. So two letters will be these, um, something like BA. Okay. Not three letters, two letters of the family name. Um, um, and then followed by um, the employment number, this one, which is this one here. So this one will come down here. And then um, three digit branch code. But notice the branch code is actually a two digit, uh, uh, digit number uh, or text. So we we'll need to convert it. Um, we we'll need to convert this one to three digit. So, um, but we are going to use um, the one that we use for the uh, debt format um, to convert it to a particular format. So we want to convert this code into um, the format of um, the, the deck okay so then um, I think this is this is it for this and the company uses branch codes between 1 and 900 so notice that uh, when we format this um, our branch code should have uh, the maximum number of digits we can have is three so anything um, onto the maximum number of digits three um, is fine okay so use formula to generate the new pair of numbers and save the spreadsheet Okay, so guys, this is very easy. It's just using string manipulation, actually. Um, remember when we uh, concatenated uh, two strings to form the email address um, that we had uh, earlier on this one? We will use the same thing. So we struct using left to get the first letter there of the E, and then we'll get um, the first two for this one, and then um, we'll get this one, join it with this one, and then we'll extract and convert this one now we'll convert this one into um, into um, a format that is going to be between this number. So three um, digits, uh, okay? So because the last number should not be 1,000, which gives you four digits. So it sh should always be three digits. Okay. So let's go ahead and do just that. So what I'm going to do is to get um, go to the spreadsheet and go to the section for the payroll number. So the payroll number is here. So the first thing I want to do is to extract the first letter of the first name. So equal to left, and then I'll extract the first letter, comma, one. Okay. So I have the first letter of um, that. And then I need to extract also, I need to extract the, um, the, the first two letters of um, the, the last name. So concatenate it and say that, and then extract left again. And I'm using this time around um, this one and specify only the two letters that I need from there. And notice that now I have E, B, A, okay? So, but this is supposed to be in capital, um, this is supposed to be capital, um, capital letter. So you need to be very careful um, on, on this part, okay? This is supposed to be capital letter. And so you can, you can convert it right now to uppercase. So just put the case there and say upper. Okay. And um, the text is this one. And then at the end, just close it up. And select that. And notice that it is now EPA and that looks good. Okay. So the next thing that we are going to do is to get um, the payroll number. So we just concatenate um, the payroll number. Okay. So we concatenate the payroll number. Let me just, uh, why am I doing this? Um, remove this. Okay, so we are done with this. Okay, that's good. So let me put this in yellow, this in green, and then this number will be in even blue or red, uh, pink, and the last one should be in blue so that we distinguish them. Okay. So now we're done with um, green, we go to pink. We need to get the payroll number, which is simply this one. So we just refer to the row. So we just concatenate um, the um, payroll number, which is this one, employment number. 
uh, do that. And notice that it is EBA um, 29 um, concatenated um, uh, to um, the first one. So the next one is supposed to be um, the last, the branch code, um, which is um, three digit branch code. The company uses branch codes between one and 199. So it's supposed to be three digits. So let's go ahead and do just that. So what we're going to do from this one is to extract the branch code and make it three digits. So if we just go ahead and type this one and extract the branch code, which is um, this one here, and just say like that, you will get um, a number, but it will not be three digits. So you need to convert this number into, you need to use text, okay, to convert this number into um, the format. So the format is supposed to be 000, three digits, and close it like that. Hit enter and notice that the number now is complete. Go ahead and replicate this for all the values that you have there, and that looks good. Okay, so done with this question, and then we go to um, to E. So it says TTS have introduced a new pay st um, structure for the company. The pay scale is used to determine the um, the pay using TTS pay underscore um, scales dot CSV. Open this um, file and inspect the data. So I'll go ahead and open this file pay scales and we notice the data that is in there we have got rows okay uh, rather columns and we've got uh, multiple uh, rows there okay now the pay grade is being determined if you go to um, the first um, document this is the pay scale the pay scale notice that it is a letter and a number so for example c3 um, you have to go through more like a matrix so c3 will be um, one, two, three. So C3 will be this one, 28,400. D4, maybe D4 will be this one. Uh, B5, B5 will be this one. M9, M9 will be this one. So we uh, we need to come up with a strategy of retrieving these values. Of course, this is very easy, guys, um, so to say, but you need to work um, um, with this in stages, okay? Um, the first thing that we need to do is that they've told you... Um, that um, open this file and inspect the data in your TTS ever insert a formula to display the pay for each member of staff. So this formula will display the pay for each member of staff. Okay, so I'll do just that. Okay, it, it should display the pay for each member of staff. Now notice how we are getting the, the pay. Okay, so let's take for example the guy called um, B1. Um, this is, uh, no, let's pick up a name that is Georgia Henry. Okay, Georgia Henry, Henry, the pay scale is B1. Okay, so what we need to find is to go to um, the table and go to B1, which is this one here. So we need, uh, what, what we're doing is to find out, first of all, which column, which pay grade is, um, are they in, uh, or pay, rather, which pay level and which, um, pay grade are they actually in so we have um the a's the guys in the a's uh b's and e's and then we have the guys also in one two three four and so on and so forth so we need to retrieve also the position for each of these so that we can use them in comparison with this because remember we are saying a1 b7 or c8 and so on and so forth okay so first of all we need to retrieve the position that these are Working. what row or what column is this what column is this okay and um by the for your information if we didn't have this we're going to use a uh, vlookup of course we will use vlookup but uh, we can't use vlookup just as it is the way we are used to it um because we don't know what row what row numbers these are okay because the row numbers will keep on adjusting remember in the vlookup we we usually just specify what row what column rather we need to, um, what column we want to retrieve at the column index, okay? And in this case, the column index keep on changing depending on the pay scale or pay grade that is, that is, that is there. So this is, this, is, this is something that we need to put in a formula so that automatically when it's two, it adjusts on its own. When it's three, it adjusts on its own. So we need to retrieve, first of all, these values here. And then we need to um, uh, retrieve the position for each of these values, okay? So this is very easy, guys. And uh, once we just find out how to work around this, you will see that it's actually very easy for you.
So what I'm going to do now is to first of all retrieve, uh, get the value. Uh, remember, if you have um, like B1, um, C3, B1, B9, the first letter here, um, the, uh, the, new, um, the text or the alphabet letter is the one that you have um, in the in here. That represents this one. And the number that you have, like C3 and whatever, it represents this. Okay. So what I want to retrieve now is to retrieve, first of all, the number itself. Okay. So I'll say equal to left. Oh, not left, but I'll use right because um, that's now um, the second one. I mean, the last digit I want to retrieve. Right one. And notice that I retrieve three. Okay. Right one, I retrieve three. Now, these three that I've, reti uh, I've retrieved, the data type for this one is text because it is coming from um, an alphanumeric um, figure, okay, or an alphanumeric data. So the fact that you've retrieved these three, these three and these three in here are different. This one is integer, but this one is text. This one is text, okay, because it is coming from an alphanumeric um, thing. So we need to convert this text into um, uh, into a number. So to do that, we use um, the function called value. So notice value, they say that value converts, okay, let's read it here, value um, converts a string that represents a number to a number. So the three that we had here is a string, even though it represents a number, but it's a string. And we cannot use it to compare, a string and a number cannot be compared, you have errors. Okay? So then you put that and it takes in the text. And what is the text? The text is this one that has been highlighted. And you close gap like that. And that is now this one. This is now a number. It is different from the three that contained there. This three now can be compared with, um, with um, the three that is here. So now, since we can compare these three, I want now to find out what column is this three. Okay, I want to return or to retrieve the position of this three so that I can use VLOOKUP. For the section in the VLOOKUP that says, um, remember the VLOOKUP, um, um, you guys, um, let me just explain this. This is very important. The VLOOKUP, you start like VLOOKUP, um, LOOKUP, and then you have got the first one as the LOOKUP value. Okay, LOOKUP value. And then you've got the second one as the table array. And then you've got the column index. What column do you want to retrieve the values from? Then you've got um, something like um, the range. Okay. Is it true or false? This is what you have. So notice the, the lookup value will be coming um, from the letters that are found in, in the other table. Not in this table, but we'll be getting from there. The table array will be this table okay the table array will be this table and then the column index will be the position that is returned by each respective this one so if we match this one we return the position as column two this one is three this one is four this one is five this one is six seven eight nine ten so the first one is actually this one here so if you count the number of columns um there that have been returned they are adjusting they are changing depending on what value that you have there. This is why we are using um, a relative way, comparison to find out actually, what is the column position for each of these values that we are looking at here, okay? So if we come here, the next thing that I'm going to do is um, to come here and retrieve. What is the position of this in the other table, okay? So I'll use a function that is called match and notice what match does. It says it returns it returns a relative position of an item in an array that matches a specific value or specified value in a specified order, okay? So the specified value in this case is three. That's the one that we retrieve here, so it will be three, and it, it will come and start to compare in where is three. It will find three here, and then it will try to retrieve um, the position of these three. So it will count from A, one, two, three, four, and it will give you four, the position four as the where three can be found, or the column number four, where three is found. And this is what is going to be used in the VLOOKUP as your column index, okay? So let's go ahead and do just that. So provide this one, it takes in the lookup value, okay? Um, 
um, and your lookup value actually is going to be this entire table, okay? Space where the table array is going to be just this. We want to find the from here. What is the position of all these numbers that are here? Don't include these ones here because we are not interested about these. We are interested about only these numbers that are here, and we are comparing the value that we retrieve from the letter here. Um, the letter C1, C2, C3, if we retrieve a number, we compare with the numbers that are here and retrieve the position of that number. Then um, um, do a comma and then specify whether you want an exact match or you want um, you want an exact match or you want, um, what do you call that? Um, a greater or a less than. So that is that. Is, that, is that. Um, so I'll provide zero for an exact match and do that and hit enter key and notice it has returned that um this three is actually at position number four and if you come back to this table you will notice that three is actually in column four if you try to get maybe to this one notice that b1 and if you come here one is actually in number two okay and that's why you have two here so but i don't i don't need this one here for now what i'm going to do now is to um now use the vlookup to, re to look up the values um, of the pair from this other table. So I'll now put the VLOOKUP at the beginning there and say VLOOKUP, and then the lookup value, um, the lookup value will now be the, uh, the letter in the uh, pair scale. So the lookup value is C, and then we compare the C with the C in the column A, okay? So lookup value will be left. Why left? Because I want to extract C from the pair scale, so I'll say left and then provide the pair scale, comma one, because I want to retrieve C, okay? I want to retrieve only C. And then after I provide, the, um, after I provide that, then I'll have my table array. Now my table array will be now this entire table. From here, I'll just highlight all the way to there. That is my table array. And then I'll go at the position just before the match. That's where my table array ends okay and then i'll save the match is the column index and remember the match is returning the column index the position of whatever number we are at and that is what is being returned and then at the end there i'll put up um so this will be uh, at the end there i'll put up um whether it returns true or false so i'll say it returns false okay it returns false and put um close that well i think i've deleted um the formula that was there that have i ah it's oh my god and i didn't save the work <laughs> okay so um i don't know what has been left of this ah okay so it has um access actually restarted on its own so um i will have to do this again Okay, so at least I saved the other part. So I'll be very fast just to do this. You guys, you saw what I did there. So I'll be very fast just to retrieve this. So I said, um, the first thing I want to retrieve is the value of uh, this one. Okay, the, and then I'll specify, I want only the first, the last letter, uh, the last letter here. This is the letter, though it represents a number. Then I'll convert it into a number. So I'll say value and I'll put the text will be this number and at the end there i'll do that so it's now a number then i said i need to get the position of this one so i'll use match and get the position where it's supposed to be i'll specify the array where it is coming from the array is supposed to be this one and then i'll specify what needs to be returned and needs to be returned as a zero and do that should expect to see four and once i do this then i can go ahead and use vlookup to do that so vlookup and then I'll, I'll, I'll retrieve um, from the pair scale the letter C. So I'll say left and then provide the pair scale, which is this one, um, this one, okay, comma one, and then do that and then comma. Then this will be, um, this will be my lookup value, okay? So the table array is, um, table array will be this one. Let me see. Um, yeah, the table array will be this other one here. So get this as my table array. Okay. And 
where it ends here i'll put a comma to say this this now is my if i messed up any bracket or something um i hope i've not messed up any bracket or anything no this is not supposed to be two brackets it's supposed to be one okay so you have um table array is this one and this one is supposed to be the column index and then after the column index at the end there i need to specify the return which is false you put like that and hit enter key and notice that it returns the value that you have there okay so um if you didn't understand this i think i explained very well in the other video so then you can go ahead and replicate this one so what i'm going to do is to format this um let's see we're told to display this as zero uh, with two decimal places okay so i'm just going to go here and um, format this as zero hoping that when i format it as zero it when i replicate it later on um, um okay how many decimal places um it's supposed to be to zero decimal places so zero decimal places here and this one format it as zero so select and look out for euro um okay there you go with euro and i'll pick up this one and say okay okay so then i'll go and replicate this one and notice now the values are replicated um like that okay so that is that is good um the next thing that i'll need to do um it says for each branch display the subtotals for the total pay and the average pay so you want the total pay and the average pay okay total pay and average pay okay so um let's go ahead and do just that to display the total pay and average pay um so you go back here and for each of these branches you want to go to data and go to subtotal and provide um the um it's a branch that we are looking out for and we want to sum the branches that are there so this is the subtotal for all the branches okay and click okay and you notice that the subtotal will actually be there okay so the subtotal is here for all the branches you get the subtotal again you can go ahead and do subtotal now for the average go to subtotal it's still the branch but you change this to average now notice at the bottom here it says replace the current subtotal don't forget to uncheck this what happens is that if you don't check this you leave it like that and say okay notice that um oh i've done the correct thing <laughs> I, I, replaced, I was supposed to check this one so if you check this one it would have replaced the one that existed now i you know that's a problem of being used to doing the correct thing <laughs> even when you you want to do the wrong thing you end up doing the correct thing <laughs> okay so yeah, so this is the correct thing that you're supposed to do. Uh, actually, you're supposed to uncheck um, this part. You're supposed to uncheck it so that it doesn't replace the uh, values. If you check it, it was going to replace the one that was there, and you're not going to see the um, the um, the total. Okay. So now you have these. You have average, and you have got total, which makes it good average total, average total for every one of them. Okay, good. Now they tell you that members of staff on the EP scale are not members of, rather they are members of the company executive. Their pay must not be included in the subtotals, but their data must not be deleted from the spreadsheet. Now, this is, this is not what happens in many companies. Okay, you don't see the pay for the executives, but uh, you gladly see the pay for the for the usher, the one, the guy who stands at the door, the door bounces. They will tell you, no, I make a few bucks and stuff like that. But the chief executive officer, you don't see um, the pay for them. But so let's hide their information. Otherwise, um, um, they'll be intimidated or they'll intimidate others. Because if you scroll down, you notice the guys with E. Where are they? Let's go to the. Let's see how much some of these guys earn. E3, eighty thousand euros. Okay, so I don't know if that is an annual pay or something. Eighty thousand euros, and um, some guys they're just making something like twenty thousand euros here. I see and stuff like that. Okay, so let's hide these guys. Otherwise, um, they will be intimidating others. Okay, so um. Um, we're going to do some um, some some sorting of some kind. So go to home and um, sort and filter. Uh, this time around, we are we are just uh, filtering. Go to um, the pay pay scale and text filter. Go to does not contain because it sh we we're trying to hide these guys. It should not contain E, which stands for executive. Um, so all the pay scales which have to do with E, they are reserved. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so um, do that. And then we have hidden all the E's. So we don't see any guy with E in this um, in this column. Okay, so we've hidden the executive. The executives, you are safe. <laughs> okay, so uh -huh. save the spreadsheet as A center number candidate number. Okay, so pay center, uh, pay center number candidate number. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Go to file, save us in the current folder. We're going to save as pay. Center number ZM556, candidate number 0001. Okay, so that is that. So these guys are safe. And uh, next question. Okay, so we're done with this one. Next question, we need to... Um, the subtotals for each branch should be recorded in the branch analysis file. Okay, the branch analysis file. Okay, the data in this file must update automatically. So in other words, um, you need to use your formula starting with equal sign for them to update automatically and reflect any changes to the staff pay. Okay. So this is also talking about automatically and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and um, go to the other file that we haven't looked at. It's a branch analysis. And we need to get the total pay and the average pay. Okay, the total pay and the average pay. So what I'm going to do here, we will insert first of all our center, uh, our name, Chikasa uh, Evans, ZM556-0001, okay? I don't know if, 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 if in the other one we have inserted our details, um, but um, yeah, here we have our candidate number. Um, in this one, we are not doing anything with this file, okay? So, um, so what we're going to do now is to go to the branch analysis file and now pick up the total pay for all these branches okay so you start with equal sign and then you go to the file and simply what you need to do is get the total pay for this one so the total pay is this one hit enter and it retrieves the value like that equal to total pay go to the other value now don't replicate now <laughs> some people would want to replicate this there's no nothing like replicating here you just get this one one by one okay equal to um this one um when i was um actually working um earlier on on this paper i was thinking of um did i get the correct one for this one okay yeah i was thinking of creating coming up with a formula which can retrieve these um uh, automatically i was like can i just write down a formula which can retrieve these automatically why should i suffer doing this one by one and then <laughs> i spent the next couple of five ten minutes thinking what formula am i going to use <laughs> Okay, so this is supposed to be, um, okay, uh, now pause, now pause, now pause, okay, and equal to, and this one is supposed to be um, split, and then uh, Tirana, um, so this, this is the total pay, please don't confuse it with the average pay, this is the total pay, so then get, um, um amsterdam and get those guys from hamburg uh hamburger <laughs> okay mentioning certain foods you now start to salivate you start feeling hungry hungry and okay so subtoto okay okay so let's see um hmm. Uh huh. So let's get now the average um, pay. So we'll go back to the top so that it's easier and to start from the bottom. So the average is this one now for this one and equal to average for Marcel. Uh, this one. Um, then the average for Porto. Okay, so this kind of takes some time for you to do that. And then the average for Barcelona my football uh club barcelona <laughs> yeah no it's okay even if we didn't win the even if we didn't win the so it's barcelona even if we didn't win the uefa match that's fine we have la liga on our fingertips um okay so you have the other one as Ish, what name is this? Is it Gidansk or what? <laughs> the name. Okay, please don't call your child by this name. Otherwise, you have people biting their teeth or their tongues. 
um, before they were gnashing their teeth, not biting their teeth, gnashing their teeth or biting their tongues before actually pronouncing this word. Okay. So I support Barcelona and Man City. I've forgotten for Barcelona already. I support Barcelona and Man City and both were knocked out on the same day. So the guys were were teasing, you know, uh, teasing me that um, I had double funeral. <laughs> I was mourning for Ban City and mourning for Barcelona. It was a very long night for me, actually. Okay, so um, split. So we get for split. But the beauty is that both my clubs are winning their respective um, league, uh, league titles. So it's, it's encouraging. Now, some of the people were laughing at us. Chelsea fans and thin and they are not even winning anything <laughs> so we get um, Terana uh, okay average for Terana that's it um, then we get Amsterdam so equal to Amsterdam okay so so you guys when you pass your exam you should buy me a ticket to go and watch a Barcelona match I'll be the happiest man to go and watch uh, my Leo Messi. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. All right. So we have these and we can format them as um, currency. So we can format them as currency. And um, I don't know if they're supposed to be formatted to, um, to some decimal places or something. Um, uh, no. So we'll just get them as they are. And zero decimal places, but we're supposed to have euro, just like their counterparts. Okay, so I like to use um, where? Which one do I like to use now? It's, it's not showing up. Okay, so where are you? Okay, this one. Okay, so the, you have these. Okay, so that's good. So this one now will be updated automatically. You can experiment, guys. Try to change one or two values in the other table, and you'll see that any of these will change. Um, um, automatically okay so um, the other one says um, create a pie um, create not a pie chart create a chart this uh, displaying both the total pay and the average pay for each brand so this one should uh, get the total pay okay should get the total pay and average pay for each branch only this uh, label the chart appropriately and display on the chart average pay values okay so you are displaying average pay values so let's go ahead and do that. So to, to be able to create a chart, I'm going just to need to move some of this information because I can pick it up like this, um, pick it up here, um, pick it up here, and maybe pick up this one, okay? And use these to create um, sort of a chart. So come here and insert um, a chart. But notice when you insert the chart, the kind of behavior, the chart um, you get, okay? I don't like this. So I like just to get these um, and put them somewhere so copy this and let's say maybe I put it here copy this and put it there and copy maybe their names and put them there okay that that makes it more is so this is the branch name branch name and this is um, the first one is total pay and this one last one is average pay Okay, so these are um, the fields that you have. So you can get all these fields now and create your chat. So guys, the most appropriate chat here is not a pie chat. Try to create a pie chat and look at what you have. It's like a, a place for, for shooting. What do you call that? Um, that game where, is it dad? In a dad or something like that. I don't know what you call those games, guys. Okay, so this one is better because you have all the fields um, like that and total pay and average pay. And the chat title, this one now, what's the chat title? So we need to label this chat. So let's go back here. So label the chat appropriately. Okay, so the chat, the title of this chat is, um, um, let's see, um, total pain. Okay, so let's say, um, I'll call it non-executive, non-executive, um, executive, branch pay okay so these are non-executive we removed the executive so these are all non-executives and they are the commoners <laughs> we could have said commoners <laughs> branch pay 
Okay. So um, 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 we need to display the average pair values on the chart. So to display, we go to data label, and uh, data labels, and come here and go to more options. So more options. Um, notice that um, you go to here, label options. Remove the values um, that are shown here. Okay. So um, you remove the values themselves, and then just do this. Okay. Just enlarge this maybe so that it is somewhat um, visible. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is maybe just put these in. Um... Now, guys, I should have gotten a wrong value for this one. I should have gotten a wrong value for this one. Because I see this one is, uh, yeah, I should, this, is, should, this should be the average, uh, rather the total pay. So let me get this one, the correct one. Um, this should be, um, this is Marcel, um, supposed to be here, this one. So the, it's supposed to be the average pay, which is that one, okay, that figure. So now I'm going to copy this and just replace the one that was here, for average pay, and paste it there. Notice that it has come down. So yeah, so that is that. Is that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, um, I don't know what the next step is. Um, it says save um, the branch analysis file. So I'm going to save this, um, this file. Um, I don't know what name we're going to give it, but they have not told us to give it any name. So we'll just save it. Now, do I need to show, maybe I need to label the, the access. We can label the access, um, access titles. And um, this one is the, this one is the total pay. And this one at the bottom here will be the average pay. No, not average pay. This is not even the total pay, is it? Um, this is the total pay. Yeah, and this is the um, the branch name. Branch name. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Good. Um. So next, um, next thing that we are supposed to do is just to hit save and say, um, I'm going to save it as what? Well. Okay. Hoping it can save a CSV with the chat. Let me just save as Word document. I mean, um, Excel workbook. Otherwise, you never know. <laughs> I'll save it as a workbook. And then um, we'll go back to the question paper. It says, in your evidence document, answer the following question. What is the difference between a spreadsheet formula and a spreadsheet function? Okay. A spreadsheet formula and a spreadsheet function. And you need to um, tell the difference between these two. So give an example of each from your T uh, TTS um, match file. So the TTS match file is this one. And we can give an example of the formula. So you just go to formula and show formula. And you can pick up um, any different formula that you want here. So I'll pick up, um, first of all, let's tell the difference between the formula and um, a function. OK. So what's the difference between a spreadsheet formula? OK. So if a spreadsheet formula is one that a user types in okay the user will type types in and may contain one or more functions like you noticed um an example from thin of each so an example of um um a spreadsheet form formula is this one okay where you type it uh, you type in um the formula which contains functions also i'll explain just in a moment what functions are so this is um this is um a spreadsheet formula formula and this is this is the formula okay and then um a function a function so a function really um let me think of a nice way to 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 define it, uh, right, define it, to define it. <laughs> so if a function um, is a built-in, built-in, built-in operation, which may take in one or more parameters, okay can take in one or more parameters or none okay 
Um, an example of a function is maybe something like lower, um, the one that we've used um, in, in, in our question. We've used lower left or something. Um, we can use other functions like, um, let's see, um, other functions, which ones have we used? Um, there's also VLOOKUP, um, rather subtotal, so I can pick up this one maybe. Yeah, this one is, is better. So just copy this and paste it in the evidence as um, pin. So um, function, and I'll do this. Paste it there. Did it not copy? <laughs> Copy it. What? What's happening? Okay, so copy. Why is it not copying, people? <laughs> What's happening? Okay, now copy it. Ah, ah. You just find you have changed all the values inside there. Okay, so that's that's okay. So I'll put it up there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that is that is good, and um, this marks the end of um, the spreadsheet section. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in a short while when we look at um, the that, uh, video editing. <laughs> All right, so good, 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 goodbye.